SCP-391 object class safe. SCP-391 is a single female specimen of Taito Alba Alba, or common barn owl. Pellets regurgitated by SCP-391 are typically comprised of some form of precious metal. The metal produced seems to vary with the type of prey ingested. The owl, nicknamed Midas, has been documented regurgitating gold, silver, platinum, and other precious metals. Refer to the SCP-391 test logs for more information. SCP-391 was acquired in... After Park Ranger... Reported finding nuggets of gold resembling owl pellets. The Foundation found the report during a routine information sweep. All owls in a 50-kilometer radius were tranquilized and captured under the guise of a tagging and tracking experiment. Agents examined and released over owls before SCP-391 was found. Addendum 391-01 after several examinations by Foundation veterinarians, no anomalies have been found within SCP-391. Other than its unusual ability, SCP-391 is a normal adult member of its species. Addendum 391-02 Due to repeated contact with researchers, Dr. and Dr. SCP-391 has become accustomed to some human contact. However, SCP-391 is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution and respect. Note, Doctor requested permission to breed SCP-391 to see whether the trait will be passed to its young. Request pending approval from the site director. SCP-391 Experiment Log Note, these experiments were carried out after SCP-391 was kept on a restricted diet of boneless, skinless chicken for a week. Researchers also withheld food for 12 hours prior to testing. Name, Doctor. Date, 2000. Item, one 320 gram white rat. Reaction. SCP-391 excitedly killed, the, killed and ate the rat. Output. 163-gram indium, indium pellet. Note. What was remarkable was the size of the pellet. It was the same size as a pellet from a normal owl. There couldn't have been more than 10 grams of ingestible material on the rat, but the pellet weighed the correct weight for a piece of indium that, of that size. It seems that whatever is facilitating the change in matter doesn't adhere to the law of conservation of mass. Name, Doctor. Date, 2000. Item, one 320 gram black rat. Reaction, same as the white rat. Output, same as the white rat. Note. SCP-391 was placed in an enclosed system where all mass and energy input was carefully measured and showed a gradual increase in mass about two hours after ingestion. No energy or mass change in the system could account for this increase. It seems color is not important to the reaction. The pellet produced, however, can't yet be explained without violating the basic laws of physics. Name. Doctor. Date, 2000, item, one 320 gram black rat, reaction, same as previous tests, output, same as previous tests. Note, the rat used in the test was radio labels, and the digestion process was observed with specialized equipment. The meat of the rat was separated of the rat was separated from the fur and the bone and digested as one would expect under regular owl. The extra mass in the pellet is not coming from the ingested material itself. Special containment procedures. SCP-391 is to be kept in a 5 by 5 by 5 meter aviary made of heavy steel mesh. Structures mimicking mixed broadleaf deciduous and pine trees 
should be placed inside the aviary. Artificial lights mimicking normal day and night patterns are to be kept well maintained. Temperature and humidity should be controlled to mimic a humid continental climate. The door to the aviary is to be kept locked at all times when SCP-391 is not being studied, maintained, or fed. Personnel exiting the aviary are to be searched for objects removed from the aviary. Personnel attempting to remove material from the aviary without permission will be reprimanded. <laughs>